This segment is brought to you by the Kansas Soybean Commission. The Soybean Checkoff, progress powered by Kansas farmers. Welcome back to Farm Factor and the Kansas Soybean Update. This is the Kansas Soybean Update. It's brought to you by the Kansas Soybean Commission. The Soybean Checkoff, progress powered by Kansas farmers. Jennifer Greenstein is joining us. She serves as the co-chair of the Next Generation Scientist for a Biodiesel Program, which is managed by the National Biodiesel Board. And Jennifer, what is the objective of this program? The objective of the Next Generation Scientist for Biodiesel Program is to foster relationships between students and professionals that work in the biodiesel field. So we focus a lot on collaboration, networking, and career development. Jennifer, you're a doctoral candidate at North Carolina State University in plant and microbiology, and your research on that specifically is focused on biodiesel. I'm a PhD student at NC State University, and I began this program actually working in enzymatic biodiesel. So I was working on an alternative approach to produce biodiesel. And I saw that using immobilized enzymes worked a lot better for us than using soluble enzymes. So I thought it'd be really cool if I took that enzyme and used it to another piece that would enable immobilization in one easy step. So that would provide an alternative catalyst for biodiesel production. Why is it important to have a cooperation like this between universities and the biodiesel industry? It's very important for an organization like this to exist because students can become very isolated in the academic world and never talk to professionals. So it's really good for students to see what kind of jobs are out there, to meet people, hear what they have to say, see what types of things the industry is interested in. And it's also uh, great for people in industry to meet students so they can see all the types of research that they're doing. And if there are students who have an interest in joining the Next Generation Scientist for Biodiesel Program, what's the best way for them to do that? Yeah, that would be great. Uh, For students to join the Next Generation Scientist for Biodiesel Program, just visit biodieselsustainability.com and go over to the student tab and the application is right there. It is free and just takes minutes to join. And then you receive all sorts of updates and emails and information about webinars and invites to apply to a travel scholarship for the conference. All right, Jennifer, we appreciate your time. Thank you very much. All right, thank you so much. That is Jennifer Greenstein, who serves as the co-chair of the Next Generation Scientist for Biodiesel Program, which is managed by the National Biodiesel Board. She joins us on the Kansas Soybean Update. It's brought to you by the Kansas Soybean Commission. The Soybean Checkoff, progress powered by Kansas farmers. Learn more at kansassoybeans.org. For Kansas Soybeans, I'm Greg Akagi. Hope you enjoyed this week's Kansas Soybean Update. Stay with us after the break for more with Dwayne Tates and Don Close. What if sustainability were synonymous with U.S. soy? If energy efficiency, water quality, and soil health help define U.S. soy's value, that future is here the time is now. To meet end user demands, the Soybean Checkoff is committing to sustainability that's achievable, worthwhile, and enduring. A message from the Kansas Soybean Commission. The Soybean Checkoff. Progress powered by Kansas farmers. 